Good morning, boys and girls. It's Fog, and I have something I want to show you. This over here is a reliable smooth stone generator. It's got a couple of nice little features. The number one nice feature is that it's very reliable. It shouldn't jam up. It shouldn't ever spit out cobblestone by mistake. It can work continuous operation like that. Or you can power it from a single pulse. About the only, and it will, uh, it will generate uh, cobblestone pretty much as fast as it can be created. About the only gotcha with this thing is if you let it get to the point where that piston can't push any farther back here, then it will stop operation. And to get it started again, just get rid of all that and pop that switch and you're back in business. All right, so let me show you how to make it. So first of all, let's, uh, yes, 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 finish. Thank you. So first of all, let's build our uh, basic, let's build a basic uh, smooth stone generator. We're going to do that by putting a sticky piston. This is a 5x5 five five pad, 5x5 five five area. Plunk a sticky piston down there, put a glass block on top. And now what we need to do is we need to uh, put a block over there and a block over there. Put a glass block there, 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 and there, and remove that. Okay, these don't have to be glass, but I think it looks better with glass. This one does have to be glass. Okay, with me so far? All right, next step. Put a repeater here. Smooth stone there. I mean, uh, redstone there. And for now, Let's just power that repeater with that switch right there, okay? Then we come over here, repeater there, set to two ticks, block there, connect it up with redstone, just like that. Okay, so now what we have right here is we have, we have a smart redstone, okay? like that. Now, you might correctly ask, why is this set at two ticks instead of one? At one tick, this will also work. In fact, you can build this whole thing with just one tick right there if you want. Uh, I've chosen to go with two ticks because that lengthens the pulse a little bit and it eliminates the possibility that this, that this glass piston will get glitched in an up state. So that's the only reason for the two ticks there. If you want, you can reduce that by a single tick. You just have to be careful about the input here. Make sure this input is on long enough that that this piston doesn't stay glitched. That it doesn't that it doesn't uh, glitch out that glass. Okay, so let's see. What do we do next? Well, now we need to place our water. And the way we do that, we're going to go over here and put a block back there put a block there. So I want this to be a glass block. Glass block there. This block here is not glass. Uh, I will, uh, it'll become apparent why it's not glass later in the build. Okay. And there we have our water source. Okay. You see if a block forms there, it cuts off the water and then the water runs again once it's pushed up. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get that block out of there. And the way we do that is we put a regular piston right here and then we're gonna build off of here like so block 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 get rid of some of the extras put a repeater here set to three ticks it's important that this be one more tick than that one so if you've got this one set to one set this to two if you set this to two set this to three Got it? And then run redstone right to there. 
Now, if a block forms there, it's going to get pushed up and over. Just like that. Okay? Now we need to place our um, we need to place our lava supply. So we're going to do that right here. That's where the lava is going to go. Um, you don't need to do this, but for safety, adding some extra blocks here. Oops, sorry. Adding these extra blocks, this one there and this one there, is not a bad idea. Okay, that one and that one. It's not not technically necessary, but it is a good idea. All right, and then we put our lava here, and you'll see that it drops down. And as soon as it forms the smooth stone, it gets pushed out. And we have a nice convenient on-off switch right here. Now, there is a little bit of a problem with having this on-off switch here. Um, actually, if you wanted to, you could be done. You know, this is good. This is, by the way, if you delete those, don't delete that one. If you delete that one, this lava is going to flow out and you'll have a big mess. So don't do that. Always leave at least one stone block in the machine. All right, so there is one minor problem with having this switch here. And if you're powering this with a pulse, um, say you've got some reason that you want to have a smooth stone spit out on demand, okay? Then um, if that pulse fires before the stone appears, then before the stone's formed, then you could lose the pulse. See? Pulsed it twice and, and it didn't push out blocks. Got it? So let's fix that. The rest of this stuff is optional, um, but it's kind of fun, so I'm going to do it anyway. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to put blocks there, 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 and there, and there. And we're going to build an RS Norlatch right here. We'll move our switch over to here and I need a redstone torch put a redstone torch there put redstone dust there a repeater here set to four ticks redstone dust across the top Torch there, torch there, we now have an RS Nor latch. Okay, now if we put a pulse in here, the it's going to trigger the Nor latch, which is going to hold this redstone high until this guy pulses to spit out another block, at which point this will let the signal drop again. So there it's on, there it forms, and now it turns off. On, forms, turns off, on. There you go. So, this stuff over here, unnecessary, but kind of fun. So, the important part is this mechanism over here. Um, the advantage to this part here, the thing that this does is it keeps this uh, from ever binding up. Because this piston gets pushed up into the lava like that, and then this one pushes it out, um, this allows uh, the lava here to fall two blocks while the water only has to flow one. And that additional block makes sure that the lava always reaches the water before the water gets here. So that uh, if that if the lava were to get here first, then that water would turn into obsidian and you'd break the machine. And obviously, we don't want that to happen. So that's what that's all about. This way, this guy is never going to stop operating until, until this piston can't push anymore. And when this piston can't push anymore, it's just going to block that lava so that you're fine. So anyway, that is is my reliable smooth stone generator. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and I will talk to you next time.